Alex Scott's father has hit back at her allegations he bullied and abused her during her childhood. The TV presenter, 37, and former footballer made the claim on Stephen Bartlett's Diary of a CEO podcast. Following Alex Bombshell podcast interview, her father, Tony Scott, has shut down his daughter's claims, insisting he was strict throughout her childhood, but never violent. Alex, who has written a memoir How, Not, To Be Strong, explained despite feeling love for her father, she felt locked in at home due to the toxic environment. Recalling a birthday party during which she said everyone was enjoying themselves, Alex broke down as she said her father had become violent later on in the evening. Explaining her mum was in the middle of a conversation when her dad asked her to get him a drink, she said, My mum said no, you get your lemonade, but then it was was that icy tone as he repeated it. Straight away, I know what's coming. As soon as everybody leaves that night, he doesn't forget, so then we all know what's going to happen. That was the hardest night. My mum is trying to survive for her kids and then I'm in a room listening to everything go on and just hoping she's alive. But she doesn't know what me and brother are doing or feeling until she's read the book. Alex said her father told her she wasn't allowed to hug her mum after the incident, saying she grew up in an environment where showing signs of affection was deemed weak. The star also claimed she and her brother never discussed their home life because they weren't allowed to speak until they were spoken to. Alex called her father a controlling and violent who was stupidly cruel throughout her childhood, but speaking to Mail Online. Tony Scott, 63 vehemently denied the allegations and said he could not understand why Alex would portray it in such a bad light. I have no idea why she's saying all this stuff. I was raised in a strict but loving Jamaican family and Alex should know what they are like. I taught her discipline, I did a lot to help her, Alex's father told the publication. Perhaps she is judging me by today's standards, I don't know. Parents were a lot tougher back then. But I was never violent, that's just not me. I never beat Alex or anyone else in the family or did anything like that, he added. Tony also said that he only meant well, and wanted to instill discipline in Alex and her brother which he maintains has helped her in her career incredibly successful career so far. I'm old school Jamaican, that's all. Alex's portrayal of me is completely wrong. But it's just one of those things, he insisted. Tony also claimed that his famous daughter had messaged him a couple of weeks ago to inform her him that she was set to speak about her childhood in a series of interviews ahead of the release of her book, but Tony didn't expect the storm that has ensued. When Alex messaged me, she said that stuff was going to come out but wrote that, I will always love you, that's just how you are, I accept that. She said that she wanted to meet me but I couldn't because I was out of the country. I've seen the media coverage and don't understand why Alex has said all these things about me, Tony told. Tony's claims come after Alex became emotional on this morning on Monday, as she opened up on her new book. Alex explained her emotions, telling hosts Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield, you know what? The hard thing as well as I didn't do it, I didn't write that part to shame my dad. I wanted my mom to be free. She still thinks she's a coward, and she's anything but, she is an incredible woman. The Mirror has reached out to Alex's representatives for further comment on this story.